But yeah, I, I think Michigan's strong point was going to be the running game going into the Ohio State game. I think it's still that. You'd love to have a Heisman Trophy caliber running back in Blake Corum take, having the snaps and having the carries because we see how dynamic he looks. I think some of those holes that Stokes and uh, Gash, you know, hit in the in the second half, I think Blake hit some of those much quicker, and I think he turned some of those two three yard gains into ten and twelve yard gains. Absolutely. Like so that you know he is he is. A force multiplier, especially when it comes to that run game, where he can do things that no one else can. So that is the, um, you know, that that's that's the concern is is just Blake not being there. I think for as, as much as I I am a big fan of Mike Morris, I think you can live if Mike Morris is on a pitch count, so to speak. If he's only got 20 snaps, I think I think you could survive that as a defense. I think yeah. you can you can live with that as a defense. Blake Corum, especially if Edwards is out, I don't think you can you can survive that because I think he's that dynamic. And it's not that you know the other running backs aren't good or anything like that, but he is so special, so unique that I think he changes the game that well, much. Yeah, that and just call it what it is. I mean, you're, now you're relying on your third and fourth string running backs mm -hmm. as opposed to your first. And to now, granted, Michigan is a unique situation where. There are one and two running backs. Both could be number ones. Mm -hmm. But, man, um, yeah, yeah, it, 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 you know, look, you're happy about the win, but it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, ugh, gosh. You know, could we at least, like, score? You know, I mean, the the, 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 the smoothest drive was the very first drive. Yes. I mean, they, they got down the field easily. I mean, yeah. You know, Blake, you know. And part first, of that was, was Blake. Blake. His yeah. first run was, like, 35, 40 yards. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, um man so uh mark edwards if this is correct i don't know but uh we'll we'll roll with it, it says blake corn hyperextended his knee sprained ligament could be a few days to heal or a few months okay yeah, i don't know um yeah i mean i don't know they 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 you know jesse says geez not every game is pretty uh, okay. Thank Je you. Uh, what are we supposed to do with that? Yeah. Well, you know, Jesse. I, I, I see Jesse. You know, and, and you know, you're there every week. We appreciate you. Um, I, I've I've been looking at your comments all throughout the day. It's like, well, Jesse, what would you like? You know, I, I find it interesting with someone with your view. It's like, what would you like us to say? Hey, guys, a win's a win. Yes. Yes. That that, that is true. But, but what I would we, also we, say is that you were favored. You were favored by eighteen points. We're here to talk about the game. Yeah. Okay. We're not just here to say, hey, guys. Checking in. Thanks for joining us. Michigan wins. <laughs> See you next week. Everybody like, struggles. Like, everybody cool. struggles. No big like, deal. No, we're talking about the game, you know, and, 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 and no one is saying the sky is falling. We're saying the good and bad about the game. And, and look, this is one of those days where it was so sloppy. It was a lot more bad than it was good. Yeah, it was a mess today. It, it, was, it was a mess. And, it's, and yeah, injuries that. is part of it. But, of I mean, you were also, you were, you were, you know the the you were favored by over 14 points in this game to beat Illinois like and I think that was probably valid I thought the play calling was bad today uh, I thought JJ had a lot of bad moments today uh thought the wide receivers had a lot of bad moments today and, and you look and you start to to put all of those together and you can easily tell a story of how Michigan left 14 plus points on the on the field easily. You, you, as you brought up in the first half, you like you were looking at the, the statistical difference uh, in total yards between Illinois and Michigan. And you're like, man, Michigan statistically at a certain point was dominating the football game. Mm -hmm. but yet you're like, you're only up seven points. It was like seven zero. Correct. You know, and, and, and it goes back to like a, a trend. And I brought this up during the game as well that Michigan, even when they are healthy, they start their first halves. They start off so slow. Mm -hmm. They really do. And, you know, it, it's like, you know, and even uh, the guy in front of us is like, yeah, th that's not going to cut it next week. <laughs> you know, it's another Michigan fan right next to us, yep. not on this platform. Yep. It's like, yeah, so it's like, that's also a concerning trend. I mean, you, you're getting off to these really, really slow starts. Um, and, you know, man, you, you can't do that against a team that can put up points. You, you call Ohio State, whatever you are. They're flawed to all this, this and that. Soft, whatever. Whatever. Fact of the matter is they can put up points. Mm -hmm. And if your offense is sputtering to start the game, you go to another slow start, you can find yourself in a hole that you may not have the ability nor scheme or, you know, to, to, to come back from, you know? Yeah. Because Michigan's definitely, they can score a lot of points in a game, but they are not built to come from behind. No. They, I, I would, I would uh, say they are similar to the Baltimore Ravens of the NFL. 
that if they if they get to play their game, they get to stay on schedule. They're extremely dangerous and could and could drop forty on your head and 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 you look up and we only have the ball twenty of the forty minutes of the time of possession. Mm -hmm. But if you get up on you know the Ravens 14-17-0, 14-3, 17-3, they're just not. They're not built to, to come back that way. That's not the way their offense is built. That's not how they want to play. Right. Um, and I, I would look at Michigan the same way. Um, you know, when they had to have it, they got it today. So, I, I you know, as far as silver linings, like, yeah, you you, you got out with a win. And at, at the end of the day, that is what matters is, listen, as ugly as it was, we get to go back in the locker room, talk about a win, Talk about playing Ohio State and going into the All shoe the marbles. And, 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 and winning, you know.